My name is uh, Bernard Rono from Davis and Shatliffe, a uh, water treatment engineer working with the water treatment department. So what we have here is uh, Lake Naivasha Resort. Uh, Lake Naivasha Resort approached us because uh, they had a problem. Like, they have three boreholes. They have, no, they have two boreholes and one and, uh, a source from a lake. So they approached us because with the two boreholes, the fluoride levels were quite high. And also from uh, the water from the lake at very high uh, stability, high level of manganese, high levels of uh, contaminations, and as well the high levels of ions. Uh, we settled on Davis and Shortleaf because of the de deliverables we wanted. And uh, after going through all the other suppliers, we realized Davis and Shortleaf had what we wanted. So what we did is that we designed for them a 15 cubic, uh, 15 cubic water treatment units. That is basically a reverse osmosis unit that can produce 15,000 liters per hour and an ultrafiltration, which is used as a pretreatment in this case, which can uh, produce 25,000 liters per hour. Why we put up this machine is because we are in the hotel industry, and uh, you know, in the hotel, we need to be very careful because of the things people are consuming and everything else. And after our research, we realized we need to do the reverse osmosis for cooking and also for the water to be used in the hotel. The reverse osmosis unit in this case is able to remove the high levels of fluorides. We had high levels of fluoride up to around 7.4 from one borehole and one to up to around 6.4. We still had high levels of chlorides, high levels of sodiums, and high levels of the total dissolved uh, salts. So that is what the reverse osmosis unit is able to take care of. And our expectation so is uh, it is going to serve us efficiently. Uh, we'll be doing normal uh, testing of the water and everything else to make sure it serves us efficiently. And also, having said that we are doing a hotel, we are looking at the commercial aspect. And on the commercial aspect, we are looking at also saving a lot of cost. So we'll be using this water and we'll like to have minimum changes in the sanitary fittings. And in this case, being an hotel, most of the water is used for general use. That is, uh, we have water going to the kitchen for cooking and drinking applications. We have water going to the rooms, uh, that is the cottages that they have here. We still have water that is going to the swimming pool and even all the general applications within, uh, within the hotel vicinity. It's a big system, a relatively big system, and uh, the maintenance would probably have to be after every four months. But the maintenance is normally guided by uh, how the flow rates are behaving, how the pressures of the unit are behaving. So if the flow rates are reduced even before we achieve the, the four-month recommended period, it would be recommended to do the cleaning. So ideally, we normally set as a standard uh, four months. But before the four months, we could still do the cleaning depending on the quality of the water that is coming in. So the other requirement is that they wanted to be able to control these units uh, through the BMS system that is uh, the SCADA system that they use here at the hotel. So what we did, we did an advanced uh, control panel, which has an eye leave unit. So the advanced panel should be able to transfer, or they should be able to monitor what is happening with the reverse osmosis unit, even uh, from their own control rooms. And the eye leave unit is for us to even monitor how the unit is behaving, the kind of flow rates it's producing in a day. And if any case should it require any service, we're able to notify the clients before even they're aware that uh, the unit requires uh, attendance. Uh, we've done quite a number of projects, uh, very many in number. This is just uh, of what we've done this year. This, this should be the sixth one of what we've done of this magnitude this year. Yes, but we've done uh, very many similar projects for such hotels. That is uh, mainly in Nairobi, even in the neighborhood here. That is at the Nashipai. We've also done a similar units for them. Today we were doing uh, the handover and commissioning of the plants. What it entailed was uh, for the client to know exactly what we've installed for them, um, to know the processes involved uh, during the treatment stages, to know the critical parts of the plant and what they need to be monitoring on a daily basis, and uh, what they need to ensure that uh, the operators are logging in. And uh, we were able to also point out the kind of uh, the flourish that we were able to achieve, and at the same time the consumables that are required on a daily on a daily use. So we've gone through all those stages and the final part was for the customer to sign uh, the handover certificate. It's part of the documentation that we've been able to sign. So that is acknowledging that they formally received the plant and now from today uh, henceforth it will be uh, within, uh, within their control in terms of operation and uh, the basic maintenance. 
I thank you people very much for the consideration I've given us. Handing over, we are comfortable with the machine now, but uh, as we, we talked earlier with the team, you'll still be, be part of us, you'll still be with us. Uh, six months down the line after today, we are going to sign the service contracts with you people. Uh, because of the time we have been with you, we don't expect to change much. We don't expect to go to another person to maintain this facility. It is your facility as it is our facility. So uh, this is just a start, but we'll still be more and more dealing with Davis and Shetliff.